Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Sabrina Salerno. This is a name that most Americans will probably not be familiar with. But in her native Italy, and in much of Europe, she is very well known and successful. She is mainly known as a singer, but has done some acting in Italian films and television. Sabrina was a beauty queen and subsequently started modeling. In 1984, she made her TV debut on a primetime show called Premiatissima. By the time she started her singing career, she had a bit of an audience already built up. Her first single, released in 1986, was called Sexy Girl, and it did pretty well, but not like her next song. In 1987, she released her biggest hit, Boys, Summertime Love. It was a number one hit in both France and Switzerland, and in the top five in ten other countries. The music video for it was quite provocative and certainly helped the success of the single. When performing the song live and on TV, she definitely liked to show off her assets. This song alone has sold more than one and a half million copies worldwide, and it remains her trademark. I seriously do not understand why she didn't break through into the American mainstream. The song Boys, in particular, sounds like 1980s girl pop that you would have heard stateside back in the day, and good girl pop if you're into that kind of music. It was done in the English language. Sabrina could have done very well in America if she was allowed to be seen and heard. As it stands, she was very successful in many other countries. Sabrina usually went by her first name. She was sexy, real sexy. Although she had a good sound, and the music was commercial enough to be appealing, Sabrina's appearance sold the music more than her talent. For one thing, she was very heavy chested, and she liked to bounce around and show them off. She exploited herself in just about every way possible through her music and acting appearances. The late 1980s and early 1990s saw continuous success. She's had some hits after that and still commands an audience, but the 80s and 90s was her heyday. Her other big songs included Hot Girl, All of Me, Boy Oh Boy, My Chico, Like a Yo-Yo, Gringo, Siamo Don, and a cover version of Blondie's Call Me. In 1991, Sabrina had a turning point in her career. She recorded a duet called Siamo Don with another Italian singer named Joe Squeal. It was her first release done in the Italian language, and it was big in her own country. This song also appeared on her third album called Over the Pop. For the first time, she was allowed to co-write and produce some of the songs. She was also trying to tone down her sexiness, much to the chagrin of her management. Sabrina wanted a little more independence, but the powers that be weren't having it. As a consequence, the promotion of the album suffered and was a commercial failure. So were her next few singles. After that, she parted ways with her management. Sabrina released new music periodically after this, but with modest success at best. This is more due to the politics of the music business than quality. Lack of promotion and distribution on this music was a big problem. She got more into working on television and acting and became successful with that. In the 2000s decade, she did a successful musical called Emoziani. Like a lot of big acts from the 1980s, Sabrina started hitting the nostalgia circuit all over Europe and gained a lot of visibility. She looked and sounded as great as ever. In 2010, she had another super successful song. It was a duet with English singer Samantha Fox and a cover of Blondie's Call Me. This song did real well in Italy and was the biggest hit she had since 1991. Sabrina still has a following. She's beautiful, she's fun, and a jiggle fest never hurt anyone. It's all a part of entertaining, and Sabrina is good at what she does. This spicy Italian deserves the distinction, 
babe of the day, babe of the day.